Stadium in Tallahassee, Florida for tonight's MEAC Digital Network broadcast on ESPN3 featuring the Rattlers of Florida A&M and the Jaguars of Southern University. Hello everyone, I'm Keith Miles along with Albert Chester, the only HBCU quarterback to ever win the 1AA National Championship. And Albert, we've got a big one on hand tonight. Well, Keith, this, this rivalry dates back to 1941. These teams have played each other 60 times. The Rattlers lead the series 33-26 to 1. We got an exciting ball club. I think that, that both teams are coming off big wins. It's going to be a great game tonight. The environment here in Bragg Stadium has been called electric, and it all centers around the quarterbacks. For Florida A&M, it's Ryan Stanley. For Southern University, it's Ladarius Skelton. Albert, where well, both the Rattlers and the Jaguars have big quarterbacks. They both stand about 6'3", about 225. Both have mirrored stats at this point in the season. Both have thrown for three touchdowns. I I think tonight we're going to see who's going to be the big leader to lead that ball club to victory. It's FAMU and Southern on ESPN3, and we'll be back after this timeout. You're watching MEAC Football on ESPN3. Ben from the pistol. Skelton on an option pitch to Ben turns upfield. But once again, that swarming Rattler defense is there to make the stop. And once again, Matt Green on the tackle for Florida A&M. Third down now for the Jaguars and about six yards to go for a first down. Bam, you and Southern from Tallahassee. Beautiful afternoon in Florida's capital city. Ladarius Skelton and the Jaguar catch. Triplets now to the short boundary. Devon Ben in the backfield. And Skelton this time wants to pass, sets up, has time, lots of time, now swings it out and overthrows his intended receiver, who was the back out of the backfield, Devon Ben. Yeah, big Skelton, he actually stood there. He, he wanted to go deep, didn't see the guy open and, and, and tried to hit his uh, the flare out, and he overthrew the pass. All right, it's going to bring up fourth down for Southern, and Cesar Bajaras, Barajas, Barajas will, is on the punt. George Webb is deep to receive for the Rattlers of Florida A&M. Barajas sent to punt. Here he is. Good kick, end over end kick. Webb steps away from it. It takes a Jaguar roll, and it rolls all the way down to the one-yard line. And so the Rattlers will begin their first possession of the afternoon from our one-yard line. Good job on a rugby-style kick that uh, rolled to the one-yard line. Looks like Rattlers, they're going to bring it out. They're going to mark it. Looks like at the 12-yard, the 12 13-yard line. They're going, to, they're going to spot the football at the 13-yard line. It must have been touched by yeah. a Southern player. And so the Rattlers will begin first and 10 from there. Let's take a look at the Rattler starting lineup on offense. Chad Hunter, the X receiver. Tariq Akbar, the left tackle. The left guard is Tyrell Reed. Brian Crawford, the center. Keenan Forbes, the right tackle. Andre Regis is the right tackle. Kamari Young, the tight end. We'll give you the rest of that Rattler lineup after this play. On first down. Penalty markers are thrown after the play. The ball carrier was Bishop Bonnet. And let's see what the infraction is. A huddle of the officials. That flag went up in the air as Bonnet was being tackled. And it's going to be an infraction against the Jaguars of Southern University. It'll move the chains and give the Rattlers a first down. That's a big one, too, Keith. You know, one of the things we talked about was the Rattlers getting off to a fast start offensively. The penalties will take them. First and 10 Rattlers now. Ball resting in our own 29-yard line. Ryan Stanley throws the out out here to David Manigo, and Manigo fights his way to the 36-yard line. And on first down, that's a gain of six. Make it second down and four to go. For the Rattlers of Florida a and Willie Simmons going up-tempo. The Rattlers are at the line of scrimmage, ready to go. Twin receivers stacked to either side. 
And in the backfield, Bishop Bonnet, he gets the call once again, and he's thrown forward to the 40-yard line, and that's a wrap of first down. Move those chains. Now, Keith, we talk about it all the time. Bishop Bonnet, not real big in statue, but we're talking about a guy who can squat 500 pounds, and uh, he's going to be tough to tackle. If we can get him loose, he's lightning in the bottle. 12.35 to play, first quarter. No score in Tallahassee. The Rattlers moving right to left, first and 10 from the FAMU 40-yard line. Ryan Stanley now sends Xavier Smith in motion, gives to his back, and good penetration by the Southern defense at the point of attack. It's Bishop Bonnet, the ball carrier, on the stop for the Jaguars, number 42, Joe Davis. The Rattlers are ready to go, second and 11, and they give it to Bonnet once again, and once again, not much room to run there for the Bishop. On the stop for the Jaguars is Dacavian champion, Big number 91, six foot 290, the senior out of Spring, Texas. Going to make it third down and nine now for the Rattlers of Florida A&M at the FAMU 41-yard line. Ryan Stanley looks to the sideline to get his play. And here we go. Bishop Bonnet in the backfield. Triplets to the far boundary. Now isolated receiver over here to the near side is David Manigo. And Stanley steps up, fires over the middle. That pass is caught by Xavier Smith. And Smith goes down at the 42-yard line of Southern University. That's around the first down. Move those chains. I like these. the play is being called. Coach is doing a great job. That's a great execution, pass, and catch. First and 10, Ramblers from the Southern 42. Twin receivers near side, isolation to the far side. Wing right this time for Ryan Stanley. Movement in the line of scrimmage and penalty markers on the play. Number 32, Henry Demetrio is there, causing the offense to move five yards, first down. Arm against Southern, that'll give FAMU a first down and five yards to go for the Rattlers. Ball's resting now at the Jaguar 37-yard line. Ryan Stanley and the Rattlers looking in the sun trying to find the, the play from the, the sideline. From the sideline. Twins to the left this time. And now George Webb flanks far to the left end this time. Ryan Stanley runs the reverse to Xavier Smith. Smith cuts upfield. He's got a first down, and he's going to go down at about the 26-yard line of Southern. A little misdirection there, Albert, that's but a, it worked to perfection. That's a good-looking play right there. And I tell you, Ryan faked it, a handoff. I tell you, it looked, it looked good. It was set up. Excellent play call. First and 10 for the Rattlers. Ball's resting at the 26-yard line of Southern. Ryan Stanley now moves his tight end, Kamari Young, to the right from the pistol. Stanley, play action, wants to pass. Fires Got for him. the end zone. George wow. Webb, touchdown, yeah. Fam you. Well, I tell you what, Keith, we picked up right where we left off from last, last football game. And caught him in man coverage. Webb ran a deep post. It was wide open. A great passing coach. George Webb is a sophomore from Jacksonville, Florida, Jacksonville Reigns High School. A great looking throw and catch by quarterback Ryan Stanley. Excellent. He stood in there, stepped into his throw, nice spin on the ball. I mean, it was a great throw. That was a great drive, a great decision making by uh, Ryan the entire drive. Yahia Ali on to attempt the point after. Chris Fadul holds, snap, placement, kick is on the way, and good. And so. With 10 minutes and two seconds remaining in the first quarter of play, our score, Florida a and 7 and Southern University nothing. And the Rattlers put together a great drive on their first possession of the evening. Yeah, Keith, what you saw was a mixture of run and pass and a little misdirection with the, with the reverse. I tell you what, what I like was Ryan Stanley standing in, that, in the pocket, making good throws, making good decisions. Got a lot of velocity on his ball. Great drive. 7 nothing. the Rattlers lead. A great throw and catch from Ryan Stanley to George Webb at Alberture right. George Webb picking up right up from where he's left off last week against Fort Valley State. Yeah, he actually was a guy 
who made everybody else play last week. I mean, he came and made some great catches, and, and the guys, the tempo just picked up. But this week, he comes in, does the same thing. I'm proud of that young man out of Jacksonville Rings. Tell you what, one of the things we talked about was uh, getting off to a fast start. When you go down the field and score in about seven, eight plays, that's what we're talking about right there. For Monday night. Tallahassee, 10-0 to the play. 7-0 the Rattlers lead. We'll pause for these words from our local sponsors and take time out on the field. You're watching MEAC football on ESPN3. ESPNplus.com slash PPV. Hey, kicks off for the Rattlers. It's Shaiki Thomas slips down in the end zone. And so that will be where the ball is down. The Jaguars will begin their second possession, offensive possession of the evening from their own 25-yard line. It's going to be interesting, Keith, to see what, where they yeah, spot this ball. Yeah, they, 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 the look, ball was on, on the field of play. They, they may spot it at the one. Yeah. And looks like they will spot it's it at the one. one. Yeah, that's, that's a good call. The Jaguars will begin their second possession of the evening from their own one-yard line. And so the Rattlers on defense once again. A great break for Florida A&M. Well, again, one of the things we talked about was special teams. you got three phases of the game, offense, defense, and special teams. If they're all clicking, if everybody's clicking today, we're going to have victory. Well, Darius Skelton and the Jaguars talking it over in the end zone. It's 7 to nothing. if you're just tuning in. George Webb, FAMU's wide receiver, caught a 27-yard touchdown pass from Ryan Stanley, and Yahia Ali kicked the extra point. And that's where we are, 7 to nothing. Here you go. You can see it on the replay. Sky, Shaiki Thomas goes down. The ball is actually out of the end zone at the one-yard line, and I think the officials are reviewing the play. But it looks like the Jaguars are going to start from their own one-yard line. Well, Albert, we've got a beautiful crowd on hand here in Tallahassee, Florida. From all reports, this game is near a sellout, if not a sellout. Well, I tell you, it's a sea of orange and green, and there are those patches of the, the colors from Southern. But I tell you what, this is a, the, the kind of fan base you want. You know, we admonished everyone to come out and support the team. Be the 12th man. Give the football team the support they need. And we admonish you to come out to all the games. This is the kind of attendance we should have all the time. The receiver possessed the ball at the one-yard line. His momentum took him into the end zone where the ball became dead. By rule, the ball will be placed at the spot, one-yard line. Be first down. And so by rule. By rule, that's good. The ball will be placed at the one-yard line. Across the way is the student section, and uh, it's beginning to fill up, too. So I think when the sun goes down, we'll have a packed house. <laughs> All right, the Jaguars going to start in first and 10 from their own one-yard line. 10-0 to play first quarter. The Rattlers lead 7-0. Ladarius Skelton at the controls for Southern. And so Skelton looking to pass. He's hit in the end zone, and he's going to go down. That's a safety. Rattler defense. And that Rattler defense, DeMontre Moore. DeMontre Moore is a monster on that Rattler defense. Hey, we talked about it, Keith. You got to play 
fast and physical, and the Rattler defense is doing just that. Excellent play. You know, that we were in man coverage, too. I mean, so if the quarterback had time, I mean, it's easy to see the receivers running deep routes or undercut routes where it'd be tough for the defensive back to challenge. But I tell you what, the defensive line got great pressure and came up with the sack and the, and the two-point conversion there. Demontre Moore, 6'3", 310-pound redshirt senior out of Tampa Robinson High School. And he is the mainstay on that Rattler defensive front four, and he made the stop in the end zone. Yeah, 6'3", 310. He's the lightning in the bottle as a senior. He wants to represent, and that's exactly what he's been doing all season, man. That's the kind of play we expect. And you know what? He makes other guys play like that on defense. Watch these guys light it up tonight. Coach Willie Simmons said this would be an electric environment tonight in Tallahassee, and it is, Albert. <laughs> Let's set it off. Jaguars will kick it off, and it will be a Zende Ray and Xavier Smith deep to receive for the Rattlers of Florida and m Martel Fontenot will kick it off for the Jaguars of Southern. 9-0, the Rattlers lead in Tallahassee. Glad to have you with us. Keith, this is, this is exactly what the doctor ordered, man. You want to get off to a fast start like this against a team like Southern. But, I mean, I think it's good mentally for a football team like FAMU who, who struggled the last couple of weeks early in the game. I mean, this is what it's all about. You got a senior quarterback. Let's let, let him lead us down the field, and uh, let's execute the plays that's being called. Montano's kick a line drive. Sails out of bounds, and we got penalty markers on the play. Looks like the Jaguars called a 30-second timeout. Now, we, we know we've got a battle of the bands going on, but they're going to have to respect the game protocols as well and not play when the play starts as well. So don't be surprised if we get some sideline warnings for that. When you have this kind of environment, you know, the excitement, uh, the band wants to get into the game on both sides, so they got to be quiet, though. They got to keep it down. Well, the human jukebox is playing. It ain't over till it's over. <laughs> Even though the Jaguars are down nine mm -hmm. nothing, they send the message. It ain't over till it's over. I tell you what, it's gonna be a great football <laughs> game. And you know what? You got to keep the the pedal to the metal on these guys. You got to play four full quarters. And I think Coach Swim Simmons, he, he's got his ball club ready to go tonight, man. The human jukebox. <laughs> they rolling. All right. Fontenot will kick it off again. Azende Ray and Xavier Smith are deep to receive for the Rattlers of Florida a and Nine nothing. the Rattlers lead. Here we go. This time an end over end kick. Azende Ray will feel it at the 11, 15, 20, 25. And down at about the 29-yard line. And the Rattlers' third possession of the night will begin first and 10 from there. And we have more markers on the field. You know, a game like this, when you have a rivalry game like this, these are the kind of things that's going to happen. Going you know, to you, return, holding, holding receiving, receiving team, team number 29. 29. 10-yard penalty, first down. And that'll back the Rattlers up 10 yards for holding and spot the football at the FAMU 19. The Rattlers are moving right to left here in Bragg Memorial Stadium or toward the north end zone. 9.48 to play in the first quarter. 9-0 the Rattlers lead. Coach Willie Simmons huddling with his offense, now sending him out. David Manigo will be wide to the far boundary. Tight end left side over there, too. Twin receivers to either side this time from the sprint formation for Ryan Stanley. Stanley fires across the middle for Xavier Smith. He makes the catch at the 47-yard line. That's a Rattler first down, and they'll move the chain. That's a great throw, but that's a big-time catch right there. That's a big-time catch right there. First and 10 for the Rattlers. They spot him at the Rattler 46. 
First and 10, Ryan Stanley up tempo. The Rattlers toss it right back to Xavier Smith again, and he's in southern territory as he's tackled at about the 47, maybe the 48-yard line. We'll see where they spot the football. 48-yard line is where they spot it, and that will make it second down and four for the Rattlers. Ryan Stanley rolls right, fires and throws that one away. That's good coverage by the Southern secondary and, and penalty markers on the play. Smart play by Ryan Stanley, though, because uh, the guy was not open. I'm glad he threw that ball out of bounds. Illegal formation, offense. Oh, Number boy. 54 was in the backfield. Five-yard penalty, replay second down. So that'll back the Rattlers up. Make it second down and nine for the illegal formation infraction. George Webb, a Zende Ray, flank wide to the far side. David Manigo is the isolated receiver to the near boundary for Ryan Stanley. Stanley this time gives to Devon Kendrick his first carry of the night. He had a big game a week ago against Fort Valley State, and Kendrick is going to pick up four yards make it third down and five to go for the Rattlers of Florida A&M. Albert, the FAMU Southern Series is the series that birthed the Gulf Coast offense. Look out. Is that Billy Joe? Billy Joe. And Super Mario. Mario Allen, the and quarterback. quarterback. Rattlers are saying the infraction is against Southern. We'll await the official. Outside. Defense, number 32, under the neutral zone, causing the offense to react. Five-yard penalty, still third down. And it is offsides against Southern. We'll make it third down and short now for the Rattlers. Third down, about two. Make that, make that one to go for the Rattlers. The Rattlers look to the sideline to get the signal. It is Rashawn McKay and Coach Willie Simmons signaling Ryan Stanley, Rashawn McKay, the backup quarterback for FAMU. All right, here we go. Rattlers are set. Orange helmets are down. In motion is the Zende Ray. They give it to Devon Kendrick. And Kendrick fights his way for the first down and deeper in Southern Territory at the 39-yard line. And that's another Rattler first down. Move the chains. Devon did a great job of shifting uh, on that run, able to pick up the first down. All we need was one yard, but, you know, if the quarterback and the offense just be patient, 10 yards is all you need for a new fresh set of downs. But, I mean, these guys are going after it. They look real good. All right, here we go. Rattlers again. Twins to the far boundary. Manigo is isolated near side. Rattlers are sent. Jaguars bringing the blitz. They toss it out here to Azende Ray. And Azende is going to fight forward for more yards. Azende Ray was a running back, Albert, in high school. And now he is a converted receiver. It's very hard to bring him down with the first tackle. He's big, strong, big, strong legs, man. And having been a running back, it makes it difficult to bring him down. One man he will not do it. Second down and four. And the Jaguars come across the line of scrimmage. We'll see what the official All indication. Start. Offense. Number 79, five-yard penalty, second down. It's going to go against the Rattlers for a false start, and it'll make it second down and 10 for FAMU. Back us up five, 7.20 to go, 9 nothing. The Rattlers lead here in the first quarter from Tallahassee. Ryan Stanley going to send Xavier Smith and Azende Ray, twins to the near side, and also Kamari Young, the tight end. Isolated to the far side is David Manigo, Ryan this time throws back to Azende Ray, trying to set up the wide receiver screen. And Ray is going to go down at about the 35-yard line. And it will make it third down and about six yards to go for a Rattler first down. You know what, what Coach is trying to do is get the ball in the hands of his playmakers. These guys can catch the ball and make some things happen. We've got a bunch of them out there, too. Kendrick in the backfield. Ryan Stanley and the Rattlers. Look to the sideline for the play. And now adjust the formation. Twins to either side. The sprint formation for the Rattlers. Stanley steps up, fires over the pocket. Intended for Manigo, who was open. But there was a miscommunication on the receiver and the quarterback with the play. Southern actually was in cover two. And 
He, he threw the ball right where it should have been. I don't know why he didn't look to catch that football. But all the success we've had throwing the football has been in cover two. We've catching them right in the middle of the field, which is where, where they're wide open. Decision time for Coach Willie Simmons. Fourth down and about seven to go, and the Rattlers are going for it. 6-16 to play. First quarter, 9-0. FAMU leads. Stanley and the Rattlers. As the Southern crowd chants defense, Jags. Stanley sent some fires underneath to Azende Reyes. Uh, he's going to be trapped and dropped. That's good defense that time by the Southern Jaguars. Azende was trying to bounce off of that one Jaguar tackler, but quickly three other Jaguars. And so it's going to be first and ten for the Jaguars of Southern University. Timeout taken here on the field and with a timeout on the field. You're watching MEAC football on ESPN3. And we'll be back on the Rattler Sports Network after these words from our local sponsors. This is the Rattler University 9-0 here in the first quarter. 5.55 remaining to play. And on first down, the Jaguars are trapped for no gain. It's second down and 10 to go. And Southern moving left to right. And Ladarius Skelton still at the controls. Skelton flushed out. He is going to be sacked. Back at the 25-yard line. And on the stop for the Rattlers is Doyle Grimes. 6'1", 225, the redshirt senior out of Miami and the transfer to FAMU from Marshall. Hey, the D-line is getting great penetration. They're playing fast, physical, swarming defense, which is exactly what you want. Third down for the Jaguars. And long. Jaguars bunch three to the far boundary. Isolator receiver near side. Skelton wants to pass. Sets up, fires. That pass was intended for Cameron Mackey. He was drilled. And that's the kind of dangerous pass that can really hurt your Terry, Terry Jefferson. Jefferson. Yeah. On the play for the Rattlers. That, that, that could have gone a lot of different ways. Yes, sir. You know, um, you know, safety is important. But I tell you what, he, he's going to remember the next time he comes across the middle like that. Fourth down. Caesar Barajas on the punt. A Zende Ray deep to receive for the Rattlers. Terry Jefferson having a monster game. Azende feels this at the 25, sidestep a Jaguar, 30, 35, still on his feet and fights his way to the 40 yard line, maybe the 41, we'll see where they spot the football. I tell you that rugby style punter, he actually hit it, hit it real good. Not nothing our score, we'll take a timeout on the field, you're watching MEAC football on ESPN3. And we'll pause for these words from our local sponsors. Southern University nine to nothing here in the first quarter. Four minutes and 43 seconds remaining. Stay social with your favorite conference. Search MEAC Sports on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for day-to-day -day updates on everything MEAC. Also use the hashtags, hashtag I back the MEAC and hashtag MEAC Nation to see your posts reposted. Randler sent to go. Ryan Stanley on first down gives to Bishop Bonnet. He turns up field. Bonnet. Out of bounds in Southern Territory as he crosses midfield and steps out at about the 48-yard line. That's a Rattler first down, and they'll move the chains. Bishop is that lightning in the bottle. He can make it happen. When he gets that ball, he can take it to the house. As the AMEs would say, thank you, Bishop. <laughs> 421, and the Rattlers on the move. Ryan Stanley wants to pass. Sets up, going to throw a home run ball down there for Xavier. <laughs> Got it. He got he it. He makes the catch. Big time. That's big time right there. Xavier Smith at the five-yard line. Yeah. And here come those FAMU Rattlers. Rattlers ready. Ryan Stanley gives it to the Bishop. Spinning and turning, and Bishop Bonnet fights his way down. Inside, that's Jaguar five to the three. And the Rattlers are knocking on the door. Keep that previous pass. That, that was a big time throw and a big time catch, man. Uh, these guys are on it today. 
second and goal for FAMU. 3.37 to play in the first quarter. And the Rattlers about to strike once again. Ryan Stanley shuttling in a new tight end. And that is Kieran Goodrich. And now the Jaguars shuttling in some fresh from fresh players. Stanley the Rattlers ready to go. Orange helmets are down. Xavier Smith in motion. They give to looks like Ricky Henrilas as they unpile. It was actually Terrell Jennings, the ball carrier, out of Jacksonville Mandarin High School. Third down and goal for the Rattlers. Stop for no gain. Ball is resting at the Jaguar three-yard line. 2.48 to play. The Rattlers. Jaguars got a lot of beef on that, that D-line, man. and didn't, We didn't get much movement at the point of attack. Third and goal. Rattlers trying to put six on the board. The 2.31 to play now in the first quarter. Rattlers up 9-0. And we've got... Timeout, Florida a &M. The first timeout of the half will be a 30-second timeout. And so the Rattlers take timeout here in Tallahassee. 9-0, the Rattlers lead. All right. We'll stay right here, Albert. This first quarter for FAMU has been outstanding. Well, I tell you what, they picked up right where they left off last week. If you remember last week, we got up to a slow start the first quarter. We picked up things in the second quarter and never looked back. A week of practice, we come back here today, and uh, they look just like they had Mr. Beat, man. These guys are, are playing good football in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. And they understand the atmosphere. Big crowd. Both bands, they understand this is big time football. Absolutely. Here we go, the Rattlers. Looks like we're going to run a little wildcat here. Zende Ray, the ball carrier, did he get in? He didn't. He's real close. Yeah. Touchdown. Zende Ray from three yards out. There we go. Here are playmakers. Zende Ray. Running a little wildcat, a three-yard run. Rolling on the field, he's got the run across the line. Touchdown. It's ruled a touchdown. And again, Azende Ray was a high school running back. Converted to a wide receiver. The Rattlers put him in at quarterback and run the wildcat. And the Rattlers are on the board. 16, check that, 15 nothing now. And Yahia Ali is sent to make it 16-0. Chris Fadul will hold. Snap placement. Kick is airborne, but blocked. And now the Rattlers take it in for two. It's Chris Fadul. Keith, I don't care what you say, man. Good luck is a re residue of preparation. Straight up. I mean, and you can get any better than that. But you know, I was concerned about his kicking the last couple of weeks because he's not getting much elevation on it. That, that kick was blocked. He picked it up and take it in there for, for the two. Yeah, points. Chris Fadul, the holder. The holder, yeah. Picked it up yeah. and took it in. A good for head. Two. Good head on him. Head on his shoulder. Now we should say this. Chris Fadul. Uh, beyond being one of the best punters in FCS football nationwide, is a 4.0 student. You got to highlight that. I mean, that's what it's all about. That's why you come to school to get that education. And I tell you what, he was awarded one of the top scholastic uh, awards by the president during the spring of last year. And he used a little smarts that time, too. Yeah, yes, Picked up did. that football and took it in. So uh, the two point conversion makes it 17 to nothing. Bam, you in Tallahassee. And the house is going crazy. Yeah, I tell you, this is what it's all about. This is what you want. Julius Duarte, end over end kick. Shaki Thomas at the 10, 15, and he's going to go down at about the 17-yard. Good kick coverage once again 
from the Rattlers of Florida A&M. Caleb Parker, the backup tight end, 6'5", 215. A freshman out of Jacksonville, Sandalwood. Hey, that's excellent, excellent coverage. Going to the first, holding the CDC, number 59, 10-yard penalty, first down. Well, it's been all fam you tonight here in the first quarter. 2-11 remaining. And the Rattlers the pitching a shutout. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Half the distance to the goal is the assessment against the Southern Jaguars. Fast Two. and physical on defense right now. You got to keep it on them, Keith. You cannot let up. Skelton at quarterback. Going to run from the pistol. Wing right. Receivers to either side. And they... Fake the pass, toss it out here. That pass is caught by Jamar Washington, 5'7", 165, the junior out of Alexandria, Louisiana. And Washington's going to pick up the first down for the Jaguars. At their own 25, they'll move the chains. There's a lot of movement across the line of scrimmage, and let's see. False start, offense, number 65, five-yard penalty. First down. We'll back the Jaguars up for a false start. You get the championship atmosphere of this ball game. It's Fam U and Southern go head to head. Skelton sends a man in motion this time. Play action. It eludes the Fam U rush. Now fires his pass downfield. Nearly picked off. Marquise Bell stepped in front of the receiver and was almost off to the races. Skelton was trying to improvise and extend the play a little bit and almost threw a pick. Bell, 6'3", 215, the redshirt sophomore out of Hallandale. And Albert, you're seeing a very young Rattler football team getting lots of experience and making plays. Absolutely. They're getting after it. Here we go, Skelton wants to pass, throws it up, throws it deep, incomplete. Rattlers had good coverage downfield. The pass was intended for Hunter Register, and defending for FAMU was Troy Hilton. Hilton, 6'3", 190, the redshirt junior. Defense, number 98, five-yard penalty, replay second down. And so the Rattlers give them five, being offside there. And it'll make it. Second down now and 10 to go for Southern from their own 25-yard line. Moving left to right. Rattlers threatening blitz. Skelton takes his time on the snap count. Steps up, fires. That pass is incomplete. May have been deflected at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I think that, that one got away from him. Seventeen nothing Rattlers leading. Third down and ten for Southern. Ladarius Skelton going all the way at quarterback. 6'2, 210, the redshirt junior out of Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Sends Devon Bell in motion. Skelton fires. That pass is caught. He showed her the first down. Timothy Bel Belford. TJ Bedford, that is. And it's going to be short of the first down. Going to bring up fourth down and about two yards to go. And sends Martel Fontenot on to punt again. The Rattlers are going to send George Webb deep to receive. And Coach Simmons wants Webb flush on this side of the hash marks. Now lets him move toward the center of the field. And here we go. Winding kick. Webb feels it. Trying to set up a return. Webb turns up field 25, 30, 35, 40, and down at the 41, maybe the 42-yard line. We'll see where they spot it, but that's an excellent return. I tell you what. 
George Webb is a, is a player, man. He's a playmaker. I mean, the kid's out of Reigns High School. It's his second year. That's a tough run right there. Give some credit to the Rattler special teams player who did not throw the block. Absolutely, because you know that would have been, been a flag. Yes, it would have. Right. Again, one of our top things we talked about, you know, top shelf special teams. you got to have it. I'm looking at all phases of the game, Keith, and that's what I see so far. Penalty markers on the play. Illegal substitution. Offense. Five-yard penalty. First down. Uh, you had 12. This MEAC broadcast is sponsored by Nike. Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Just do it. Nike is the official footwear provider of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. So the Rattlers back up five and make it first down now and 15 yards to go. Ball is resting at the Rattler 37-yard line. Ryan Stanley, play action, going to pass. Xavier Smith makes the catch, and he's in southern territory at the Jaguar 48-yard line. That's a Rattler first down. Move the change. <laughs> Keith, you know what happens is when you have success running the football and a team like Southern, it, it forces them to play man coverage. That was a man coverage. It's tough to stop a post route like that. You can't stop that. You throw that all day. That's the end of the first quarter. Yeah, it's not a first down. He picked up eight, makes it second down. Well, actually picked up nine, second and one, but that's the end of the first quarter play with our score. Florida. Florida a and 17, Southern 9. We'll take a timeout on the field. You're watching MEAC football on ESPN3. And we'll pause for these words from our local sponsor. What you like the power to do? Welcome back to Bryant Memorial Stadium as Florida a and leads Southern University 17 to nothing as we go to second quarter play. And the Rattlers have the football and on the move at the Jaguar. 49 yard line second and one Ryan Stanley gonna go up top He's got his tight end Kamari Young and Kamari's gonna pick up the first down and move the chains deeper in the Jaguar territory at the southern 34 yard line very well executed that was a nice touch pass to his tight end you know we haven't thrown too much of the tight end this year yeah Kamari Young comes off the field limping just a little bit and we want to check on Chris Fadul too, as a possible injury update. Here we go. Ryan Stanley and the Rattlers, first and 10 from the Jaguar 34, moving left to right now here in the second quarter. Leading 17-0. Shift his back. That's Devon. And he throws downfield for Xavier Smith. It's going to be incomplete. That would have been a great catch there. Yeah. You know, you're talking about picking up where we left off last week. The first quarter, Ryan Stanley was 10 of 11 for 150 yards and a touchdown. We have not punted the football yet. Wow. It's around the offense. Started slow last week against Fort Bradley, but they've been on fire here tonight. Absolutely. Second and 10 for the Rattlers from the Jaguar 34-yard line. When play resumes, the Rattlers will have twins to the near side. Isolating David Manigo, the young receiver, to the far boundary. And he shifts Devon Kendrick. This time he gives to Kendrick, and the Jaguars are all over that play. On the stop for Southern, Joe Davis, the defensive end, 6'4", 235, the redshirt senior out of New Orleans, Louisiana. He looks a little bigger than 235. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, 13.55 to go here in the first half of play. Rattlers up 17-0. Beautiful afternoon in Florida's capital city, Tallahassee. This is one of those Chamber of Commerce days. Absolutely. Here we go, Ryan Stanley and the Rattlers sent to go. Stanley going to throw back and overshoots Caleb Parker, the tight end. They're trying to set up the tight end screen over there, and it's going to make it third down and 15 now for a Rattler first down. And actually it was set up nice. Ryan just rushed that pass, you know, but uh, it was a great call. And one of the things I want to just uh, say uh, publicly is that the offensive coordinator, a lot of that's obviously Coach Simmons. They're calling great, I mean, great plays. I mean, 
reading the defenses. They, you can tell they studied Southern and uh, taking advantage of all their weaknesses and exploiting them and taking advantage of, of the talent that we have. You know, we got guys who can make plays, and that's what you want to do, get the ball in the hands of the guys and make plays. First punt on the night for the Rattlers. And let's see. Nice kick. Boy, hits. Whoa. The Rattlers try to down it at the one. Let's see if it goes into the end zone. They're going to spot it at the one-yard line. That's an excellent punt. Great coverage. Yeah. Kwame Clark. On the punting that time, not Chris Fadul. Fadul saw limited action a week ago as well. Right. Uh, you know, and I think uh, Coach likes to give a lot of players some playing time under the lights. Now, he may be, they may know something we don't know, but uh, that was an excellent punt right there. Great coverage on the punt. Well, catch us on the go. ESPN is proud to be the official national broadcast partner of the mid Eastern Athletic Conference. For more information on the ESPN family of networks, including ESPN Plus, call your local cable operator or satellite provider or log on to ESPN. Welcome back to Bragg Memorial Stadium as the Florida Anim Rattlers lead Southern University 17 to nothing here in the second quarter. The Jaguars start from their own one-yard line and get a good run on first down from Devon Ben. Oh, check that. New running back in the ball game. It's Craig Nelson, 5'10", 190. The redshirt sophomore out of Miami, transferred from Indiana. And it's going to make it second down and about six yards to go for Southern. Ball's resting at the 11, uh, the six-yard line, that is. And this time they are going to pick up the first down, but a penalty marker is thrown at the end of the play. And once again, it was Nelson, the ball carrier. The Jaguars are get a, getting a lot of uh, movement foul. at the point Face of attack. Face masking is the call against the Rattlers. That's a personal foul move. 15-yard mark-off. And so the Jaguars with some breathing room now after starting this drive at their own one-yard line. All right, here we go. Skelton and the Jaguars at their own 27-yard line. And they give it once again to Nelson. This time, not much there. The Rattlers converge at the point of attack. Great crowd on hand here in Brank Stadium tonight for this one. The Darius Skelton on second down. Let's call it 10 to go for Southern. They look to the sideline to get the play. Wing left this time. And this time they give it to Nelson once again. And once again, the Rattlers are all over the play defensively. And on the stop for FAMU is Keenan Anderson, 6'5", 385, redshirt senior out of Atlanta, Georgia, played at Mays High School. Keith, they've, got, they've got to change their quarterback. That's McDaniel in there. Glendon McDaniel, the quarterback. Okay. For Southern. Okay, McDaniel calling the signals now for the Jaguars. He's listed at 6'2", about 200 pounds. Yeah, out of Dothan, Alabama, not far from, from here in Tallahassee. Here we go. McDaniel sets up, looks to pass, fires across the middle, got a man at midfield, 45-40, 35-30, and going to be run out of bounds inside the 20 to about the 18-yard line is Jamar Washington. 5'7", 165, a junior out of Alexandria, Virginia. And that's the biggest play from scrimmage tonight for the Southern Jaguars. Yeah, they caught us in man coverage, crossing route. He hit him in stride, and it was a foot race from there. Balls resting inside the red zone at the 19-yard line. They're waiting on the chains to get set. And 
This time, McDaniel hands it off to Nelson once again. But the Rattlers are all over that play. And on the stop is Marquise Bell. 6'3", 215. Out of Hallandale, Marquise, the free safety coming up making that stop. That's a good hit. Second down and 11, a loss of one on the play for Southern. Jaguars in striking distance, though, just outside the red zone now at the Rattler 21-yard line. 10-15 to go in the first half. Rattlers lead 17 to nothing. McDaniel fires the underneath screen to Nelson, and Nelson breaks a tackle but goes down inside the 15 at about the 13-yard line. Terry Jefferson makes the stop for Florida A&M, and it'll bring up third down and about three yards to go for Southern. Little drag route. McDaniel held that ball as long as he could, got it out of his hand and made a great play. All right, here we go. McDaniel gives to Devon Bell, and Bell fights his way inside the 10 for the first down and will move the chains, give the Jaguars their first first and goal of the evening, their deepest penetration of the afternoon. All right, here we go, Jaguars. Ball resting at the Rattler eight. First and goal to go for McDaniel. And McDaniel keeps on a quarterback option, and McDaniel's in. Touchdown, Southern. Run pass option. He, he executed that to the T. Eight forty-eight. McDaniel goes in from eight yards. He didn't score. Oh, he didn't score. So it's it's second and goal. He did not get in. And now we've got some confusion on the field. One yard line. That play is under further review. Play is under further right. review. It looked from our vantage point that he got in. It looked like he got in. I think his knee may have been down before he. Okay, here we go. We're looking at the replay, and his he knee may have down. touched down before, the ball, crossed before the, the ball crossed the plane. And if that's the case, it will be second down and goal to go. As we await the official review, initially it looked from our vantage point that he got in. On the replay, it looks as if his knee goes down before the ball crosses the plane. Excellent effort, though, on his part, though. Great, great camera work, yeah. too, from our crew. Southern, this is their best-looking drive of the night. And it started on the one-yard line. It started on the one-yard yeah. line. Yeah. I think the, the insurgence of quarterback McDaniel, yeah. uh, his leadership, I mean, he stood there, threw the ball well, and he ran he had, the ball well. He had lots of pressure coming yeah, absolutely, on him, too. Absolutely. I'm not quite sure if Skelton is hurt. Uh, Coach Odom just decided to go with another guy. Try to get a spark. spark. Yeah, get a spark. Jamar Washington with the big pass play, though, that really set the Jaguars up in scoring position. Excellent throw and catch. I mean, we were in man coverage, crossing routes. Tough to cover those when you're in man coverage. Here's the official indication. After further review, the rolling on the field stands. It'll be second and goal. The one yard line. Second and goal. So his knee did touch yes. before the ball crossed the plane. Mm 
So it'll be second and goal to go for McDaniel and the Southern Jaguars. Second down and goal to go from the Rattler one. A 99-yard drive, and the Jaguars want to finish. They give it to the quarterback, Skelton. Or is that McDaniel? It's, 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 Skelton. McDaniel. it's McDaniel. It's McDaniel. McDaniel. Fake the dive to Devon Bell and scooted on the outside and got the touchdown. You know what he did? When he, when he, when he rolled the, the back into the line, he took his time, and then he pulled it out and went untouched. I mean, it was excellent executed play. Watch, you just take his time, boom. All right, the Jaguars are on the board. 8-14. 17 to 7 is our score here in Tallahassee. And the Jaguars now will make this a ball game with 8-14 to play in the first half. Well, if you're looking for the latest MEAC scores, stories, and schedules, log on to MEACsports.com to view live stats of today's track meet. The site also features links for Saturday's Flow Sports track broadcast and much more on MEAC track and field. So if you want to know more about what's going on in the MEAC with track and field, log on to MEACsports.com. All right, the Jaguars all set to kick it off. Cesar Barajas, 17-7. Jaguars down by 10. Goes out of bounds. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking deep. Ball be placed at the 35 yard line. First down. So the Rattler offense will take it over at the their own 35 yard line. That's excellent field position. The Jaguars gave up on that kick out of bounds. But the Rattlers still holding a 10 point lead with 8.14 to play in the first half of play. We've got a ball game here in Tallahassee. No doubt, no doubt, Keith. And I think the, the defense is probably being chastised a little bit for giving up the 99-yard drive. But, I mean, it's in football. Uh, let's see how the, the offense will answer to that scoring drive. All right, Ryan Stanley and the Rattlers. Orange helmets are down. Xavier Smith in motion. Play action. They give it to Bishop Bonnet. Tries to turn the corner. There's no room to run. And there's a penalty marker thrown late after the play. After the play was over, personal foul, late hit, offense number 70. 15-yard penalty will be second down. That's going to go against the Rattlers. Calvin Ashley, and those are the kind of penalties, Albert, that will drive a coach crazy. You know, and actually he committed that foul after running back had gone. Up. Bishop was out of bounds. And second down, and about 25 yards to go now for the Rattlers. Backs the Rattlers way back at the 16-yard line. Ryan Stanley fires. Pass is caught by Xavier Smith. And he's going to pick up right at 15 yards on that play. What? Just like that, the Rattlers are second down and 10. That's right. Ryan stood in there and took, took a shot on that pass. And I tell you what, uh, it was fortunate. The receiver was able to make a catch. And he wanted to catch it and run with it, but he made the catch. Actually, third down and 10. The Rattlers with the ball at the FAMU 35-yard line. Third and 10, Ryan Stanley rolling, firing. That pass is caught by Webb. And Webb is down at the 44-yard line of Southern University. That's a Rattler first down. Move those chains. I tell you what, that's, that's one of the better balls I've seen Ryan throw in a long time. That was an excellent pass to George Webb out of Reigns High School. Boy, a lot of movement in the interior line, but the Rattlers give it to Bishop Bonnet. He breaks a tackle. Another tackle. And still... Here going is. and now a penalty marker thrown late at the end of the play. 
Well, when you talk about Bishop Bonnet, 5'7", 165 pound, red shirt junior out of Jacksonville Range High School, but he is one strong customer. Yes, sir. He's, he is. He is a horse in the weight room, man. I've, I watched him this summer pick up the gym. I mean, the guy is strong as an ox. After the play was over, personal foul, late hit, defense number 47, 15-yard penalty, first down. And that penalty will keep the Rattlers drive alive. 6.47 to play in the first half, and the Rattlers leading 17-7. And just outside the red zone at the Jaguar 24-yard line. Good luck is a residue of preparation. I'll take it. Here we go. Rantlers are sent. Orange helmets are down. Ryan Stanley. Play action. Fires across the middle. That pass intended for Herman. No, Cameron Sapp. It's going to fall incomplete. The pass was actually thrown a little bit behind Cameron, and he tried to twist his body to make the catch, but Southern had – that was great defense. Yeah, Southern actually, had a good defender there. Ryan didn't lead him on that throw, and we caught them in man again, that quick post, and it was there. I mean, if he could have just laid the ball out and, you know, we, we had touched – I think he was trying to get it to him in a hurry. Second down and 10 for the Rattlers from the Jaguar 24-yard line. Ryan Stanley, play action again. Fire. This pass was deflected. Well, it slipped off his hands. I don't, I don't, we, let's see if that one was deflected or he just, he kind of just didn't come off his hand right. He was trying to pull it back. Yeah. It was deflected. Yeah. Makes it third down and 10 now for the Rattlers. From the Jaguar 24 yard line. Xavier Smith checks in. Azinde Ray will check out of the ball game. 619 to play. 17 7, the Rattlers lead. And the Rattlers go spread formation, twin receivers to either side. Bishop Bonnet in the backfield. Stanley again wants to pass. He is hit and he's sacked way back at the 35 11 yard. And bring and send in Chris Fadul and Yahia Ali. And this will be a 52 yard field goal from the right hash mark. 52 yard attempt from the right hash mark. Fadul will hold. It's Yahia Ali. Here's the snap placement. Kick is airborne and no good. 52-yard attempt. Hey, he had the distance just off a little bit on the accuracy. It was wide right. It's a great try, though. Great effort. And so there's timeout on the field. You're watching MEAC football on ESPN 3. 17-7, the Rattlers lead will be. Welcome back to Brank Stadium. FAMU leading Southern 17 to 7, 529 to play in the second quarter. And the Jaguars with the first down and 10 from their own 34 yard line. Glendon McDaniel back to pass, sets up, has time, fires the home run ball downfield. That pass is picked off. And returned, Marquise Bell picks it off for the Rattlers and returns it to the Jaguar 44-yard line. That's a great-looking defensive play Holy by Marquise offense, Bell. Number 78, that penalty is declined. The result of the play is interception. First half. A great run-after pick by Marquise Bell, and he sets the Rattlers up in Jaguar territory. At the Southern, they're going to mark him at midfield. But what a, that's a center fielder's catch. Hey, man, that, that, that's a big time. He, he looked like a receiver, and he snatched that ball out there. 
Great play, great defensive play. He's standing back in center field, man. Look just like he. Yep. Willie Mays back there, man. Great play by Marquis Bell. 6'3", 215, the redshirt sophomore out of Hallandale. First and 10 Rattlers from midfield. And we've got whistles. There is no foul for the play of game. The play clock at this end of the field had two seconds on it. Be first down. All right. A little reset. You know, Keith, one of the things that's happening is the three phases of the game are complementing each other. You know, offense scores, offense get held, defense make a play, special teams come up with a big play. I mean, this is the kind of football you want. I, don't, I, I know Coach Simmons is feeling good right now about what he sees from his ball club. All right, here we go, Ryan Stanley and the Rantlers. They send Xavier Smith in motion. Stanley throws this one up. It's a back shoulder throw, and it's going to be incomplete. Intended for Xavier Smith. But well, check that, Bishop Bonnet, intended for Bishop Bonnet out of the backfield. Out of the backfield. Incomplete. Albert, while we've got a moment, there is a major <laughs> campaign to get Ken Riley into the NFL Hall of Fame. It's called, Hall of Fame. It's called Ken for Canton. And we want to encourage all HBCU football fans to let's help get Ken Riley into the National Football League Hall of Fame. Fifth all time. And interceptions back, and he played back in the day when they weren't slinging the ball around, but he's still fifth all-time in career interceptions. Ken is overdue, and uh, we're hoping that things are going to work out for him uh, this fall when the committee meets. And uh, But there, there's, uh, they need to be inundated with letters, memos, texts, and everything we can to, to the Canton Hall of Fame committee and let them know that uh, we feel like Ken Riley is long overdue and should be in there. It's been an injustice for him not to have made the Hall of Fame at, at, by this time. You know, Ken's a super guy, and of course he's family. And I hope he's here tonight, and if he is, maybe we can get a chance to holler. At him. Yeah, that pass intended for Xavier Smith incomplete makes it third down and 10 now for the Rattlers. Ryan Stanley going all the way at quarterback for FAMU. Stanley rolls right, fires this pass out there, intended for George Webb, and it's gonna bring up fourth down for the Rattlers of FAMU. 4.57 to play here in the first half. 17-7, to 7, the Rattlers lead, but fourth down, and Chris Fadul is on to punt. It doesn't look like he has any issues yeah. in terms of injuries or yeah. anything, so let's see if he can give us one of those uh, flip NFL the field. punts yeah, tonight. Yeah, flip the fields, <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Gets off a beauty, oh, high, tight spiral. This one's going to oh. hit at the three, and the Rattlers are going to down it around the five-yard line, maybe the six. That's an, another outstanding punt by Chris Fadu. Yeah, just echo what we just said. I mean, each phase of the game is complementing each other. You know, we didn't get the first down. Fadu comes in and, and puts him inside the 10-yard line. Great punt. 4.46 to play in the first half. Southern now gets the ball back. They scored on the last possession. Let's see if the Rattler defense can hold them. They're going to start at their own seven-yard line, first and ten. Glendon McDaniel at quarterback now out of Dothan, Alabama for the Jaguars. And he runs the option. Pitches. Trapped behind the line is Devon Ben, and the Rattlers are all over that play. The initial hit was made by Doyle Grimes, and the Rattlers came on board to clean him up. Makes it second down and 10 after no gain on the play. Skelt. Check that McDaniel. Again, sets up in the end zone, looking to pass. Now flushed out of the pocket. 
Swings his pass out there intended for Cameron Mackey. Incomplete Mackey, another one of those Florida boys out of Ocala, Florida. I tell you, keep the, the referees didn't see it, but it, it's a lot of dancing going in on that offensive line. There's some holding going on in there, man. I tell you. <laughs> 4.03 to go. Third down and 10 now for the Jaguars from their own seven. And Glendon McDaniel. Triplets to the far boundary. Now isolated receiver over here to the near side. And McDaniel sets up in the pocket. Steps, fires, and that pass is thrown behind the intended receiver, Jamar Washington. And so that Rattler defense gets some credit for putting some pressure on Glendon McDaniel. They got him uncomfortable back there, yeah. you know. I mean, he's uh, moving around, throwing off that back leg and uh, not getting a shot, a chance, or an opportunity to throw a, a decent ball. So it's fourth down for Southern, and Martel Fontenot is going to punt from the end zone. Now let's see if the Rattlers put some pressure on him and try and get a block. 3.57 to play in the first half. 17 to 7. Oh. High snap. He fumbles it and now falls on it in the end zone. That's another safety as the Rattlers tackle him in the end zone. And on the stop for the Rattlers was number 20, Javon Morgan, the freshman out of Tallahassee, Florida High. Mm -hmm. Keith, I can't remember the last time I've seen a game and there were two safeties. I mean, uh, that's that's well uh, coached defense, I think. I mean, uh, it was a high snap, but uh, special teams again. Morgan tackled the punter in the end zone, and that will add two more to the Rattler totals and make it 17. No, 19, 19 now yeah. to 7. 19 to 7. So that Rattler defense putting points on the board. Yeah, playing fast and physical. 351 physical. to go. You know, when, in the when, first the, half. when the center snaps that ball a little low, a little high, that means somebody up front is hitting him upside his head, man. He's getting beat up. <laughs> So let's credit the, the, the defensive line for putting that pressure on that center. All right, high end over end kick from Fontenot, fielded by Azende Ray, 25, 30, 35, and Azende goes down at about the 38-yard line where the Rattlers will take over first and 10. Pride your achievements. Justin's is a proud sponsor of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. First and 10 for the Rattlers. And we'll take over first down at our own 37-yard line. The FAMU 37-yard line is where they'll spot the football. Devon Kendrick in the backfield with Ryan Stanley. A beautiful afternoon in Tallahassee is descending into a beautiful evening. Absolutely. And here we go. Stanley, play action. Looks downfield, dumps underneath to Kamari Young, the tight end. And he makes the catch and takes it out to the 45-yard line. It will make it second down. And about two to go. That's a gain of eight. Good-looking play from Ryan Stanley to his tight end, Kamari Young. Yeah. They're, they're, they're rolling him out, spreading him out, get him away from that pass rush, and just throwing a nice pass to his tight end. Yeah. Pick up first down. Uh, a little bit, yeah, eight, eight of the ten yards anyway. Yeah, second and two for the Rantlers. And they send Xavier Smith in motion. Give to... Devon Kendrick, and Kendrick's going to pick up the first down as he fights his way to midfield. And that'll move the chains. Move those chains. 
Ball's resting at the midfield strike. 238 to play now. First half. 17-7 the Rattlers lead. Ryan Stanley. This time going to send twin receivers to the near side. That man play action. That man Fires across the middle. That pass intended for Xavier Smith. And he led him just a little too much. Yeah, he, he had what he wanted now. He had man coverage. And he got to take his time and stand in and make that throw. That's, that might be six. You hit him right. Yeah. We can't miss those. Second and ten for the Rattlers. Ball's resting at midfield. Rattlers going to load up a spread formation this time with twin receivers to either side. Kendrick in the backfield. Ryan going to set up the screen pass, but David Manigo had no place to run as the Jaguars were all over that play. Yeah, the Jaguar defense read that one. David Manigo makes the reception. Third down and 11 now for the Rattlers. Third down and 11, Fam U. Minute 52 to play in the first half. 17 7, the Rattlers lead. Here we go. Stanley fires across the middle. He's got Manigo, and Manigo's got the first down. There we go. At the Southern 32 yard line. First and 10, Fam U. That'll move the chains. Nice shot. we go. Rattlers quickly give to Devon Kendrick as Stanley tries to set tempo. And Kendrick's going to pick up one, makes it second and about nine to go for a Rattler first down. Minute 14 to play. Ball's resting at the 33-yard line now of Southern. Stanley shoots this pass out here for Manigo. He makes the catch, and he's going to go down. At the 29-yard line. The Rattlers in the two-minute offense, Keith. I mean, they got a little up-tempo offense going right now. Here we go. Stanley fires it in the end zone. That pass that may be pass interference. Let's see. No, it's going to be ruled incomplete. It was intended for Azende Ray. A Southern defender looked as if he had a hand on him. Let's look at the replay. Going to be ruled incomplete. The Rattler fan's not too happy about that. But. Fourth down for FAMU now. And about I say Keith, I say six get, to go. Get the first down yeah. and reload. It's 42 seconds left. Stanley throws back that pass intended for Manigo. It's going to be ruled incomplete. That'll be a turnover on downs. The Southern defense has held, and they'll take over with 40 seconds remaining in the first half. Got a couple of MEAC scores to catch you up on. Norfolk State and Montana State played today. Montana 56, Norfolk State 21. Morgan State played Army. Army 52, Morgan State 21. Elizabeth City, North Carolina Central. North Carolina Central victorious 45 to 7. Bethune Cookman 2 to 0 over Mississippi Valley with two minutes left in the first quarter. Howard and Delaware. Howard 24, Delaware State 9. It's a final. All right, here we go. Glendon McDaniel. Step on. A good and Washington. And move at the other 27 seconds remaining. McDaniel wants to fire. Again, fires the home, home run ball deep. It's picked off. And it's Marquis Bell. Once again, his second pick of the afternoon. At the 35-40, penalty markers on the play. But Marquis Bell has his second pick on the night.
During the interception return, personal foul, blindside block. Receiving team number 14. You know, Keith, he didn't have to do that. I mean, the play was already passed, and I think he was trying to reward him for being in our secondary. But. Correction, number 41. Number 41. And so, Doyle Grimes commits the infraction and will back the Rattlers up. The ball, the possession will remain with FAMU. Right. No, it won't. Yes, it will. Yeah, it will. 11 seconds. Yeah, 11 yeah. seconds left. And the Rattlers, Ryan Stanley's going to take a knee, and that should do it for our first half of play with the score. Florida A&M 17, Southern University 7. Nineteen to seven. Thank you, Jerome. All right, uh, Corey Staples is trying to line up a conversation with Coach Willie Simmons, and we're going to go down to Corey. All right, Corey, you got it. Coach, your team really got it going offensively in that first quarter. How do you look if, to keep that going into the second half? Just got to execute, do the little things. Second half was full of self-inflicted wounds. All penalties, um, mis-execution, got guys running wide open and missed them. So we just got to clean up those things in the second half because you know, I've been playing this team a long time. and They're going to make the adjustments to come out second half ready to play. Right, and there were some crucial penalties there in that second quarter. One leading to a Southern touchdown. How do you look to limit those? Well, coach is about to get a good butt to him right now because it's undisciplined football, and that's on us. That's not on these kids. That's on us as coaches. We got to coach that, and obviously we're not doing a good job of it because we keep shooting ourselves in the foot, but that'll get fixed at halftime. Yes, sir, and lastly, how do you guys look to carry this momentum generated by the defense going into that second half? Well, we just got to come out fast. We get the ball. Um, we got to put a drive together like we did the first quarter, uh, put our defense in a great position. Special teams have been doing a great job. Thank you, Coach. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Corey. 17, 19 to 7, that is our score at the half. The Rattlers of Florida AM University leading the Jaguars of Southern University. We'll take time out on the field. You're watching MEAC football on ESPN3. And we'll pause for these words for. Welcome back to Bragg Memorial Stadium as Florida A&M leads Southern University 19-7. It's halftime and the Southern University human jukebox and the dancing dolls on the field with this halftime performance. And Albert, let's run through those first half statistics. Well, Keith, the thing that stands out to me is the total number of plays. The Rattlers have 46 plays and have 267 yards of offense compared to Southern's 28 uh, plays and 109 yards. Time of possession. The Rattlers have had the ball 18 minutes to the, uh, the Jaguars 12 minutes. When you look at Ryan Stanley's numbers, he finished up the, set, the first half 17 to 28 for 233 yards and a touchdown. The, the combined quarterbacks of McDaniel and Skelton were uh, less than 100 yards passing, but uh, we've only had two punts. Um, the game has basically gone the way I think Coach Simmons wanted it to go. I mean, uh, we've had a couple of incidents where uh, they caught us in man coverage and, and made some big plays, but that's football. But I think for the most part, Coach is happy about what he's seen. Statistically, uh, we're winning on the field as well. All right, let's go down and watch the human jukebox at halftime here in Tallahassee. Welcome back to Bragg Memorial Stadium. It's 19 to 7, Florida AM leading Southern University at halftime. And Albert, Southern University's human jukebox just left the field. And now the Florida AM marching 100, getting ready to take the field. So let's go down and look at the band.
They say laughter is the best medicine. They must never have tasted wind. The new Low Rider S. Classic look, new roar. I've got to tell you something important. It's not going to be easy. Quicksilver earns you unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase everywhere. Actually, that's super easy. My bad. Stadium, Florida AM 19, Southern University 7 at the half, and Albert, it was an exciting and uh, electric first half here in Brank Stadium. Well, Keith, all I can do is go back to my five keys of victory. We talked about controlling the line of scrimmage. That's exactly what the Rattlers did. Get off to a fast start offensively and defensively. They've done that. Uh, uh, Got to play fast, physical, swarming defense. They've been doing that. Top shelf on special teams. What, what else can I say about it? And then the big piece is smart, consistent play from a quarterback, making good decisions and protecting the football. He had thrown an interception. He made some bad throws, but I mean, he had to. But I mean, for the most part, we've, we've checked this list off, and that's why we're ahead right now. If we can continue this, the second half, I think the Rattlers will get a victory tonight. All right, 19 to 7, our score. The Rattlers leading Southern University. And now we'll go to Calvin Sykes in Control Central. Halftime, and we wrap up the halftime festivities with the Marching 100. Time is over here in Tallahassee, Albert. It's been electric, <laughs> as everyone knew it would be. Well, you know, Keith, you got two of the baddest bands in the land, and uh, the history and tradition that both bring uh, to this game is uh, is priceless. And I think the, the fans enjoy both the human jukebox and, and always the hundreds going to put on the show. And so now we get sent for second half action, Albert. What do you think the Rattlers must do to hold on and claim victory here tonight? Well, I think what well, they got to come back and do more of the same. They just got to be more consistent and finish the game. I mean, one of the things that Coach Simmons instilled in these fellas last year was that winning tradition. And a few years ago, they didn't know how to finish a football yeah, yeah. game. I'm expecting them Lord to come back yeah. and do the very Lord same thing they did the first the half time. and finish the football game. Ten yard penalty. The Rattlers are going to be penalized 10 yards for the extended halftime. And so. <laughs> looks like Bishop Bonnet and Ricky Henrilis. 
are going to be deep to receive for FAMU as we get ready to start second half action. The Jaguars will kick off from the 45-yard line. And I'll tell you what, Albert, no one left their seats at halftime. Well, you know, folks come to see the band. I mean, uh, and when you talk about the human jukebox making the trip over, you know they're gonna, the stands are going to be filled. Now, everybody run down and go to a potty and get some food. But I tell you what, they got a great football game here the second half here to yes, look sir. at. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, the Jaguars set to kick off Martel Fontenot. And it's Ricky Henrillis and Bishop Bonnet deep to receive for the Rattlers as we begin the second half. High end over end kick. This one's going to sail near the back of the end zone, and Bishop is not going to run it out. The Rattlers will begin first and ten. Okay, tonight's crowd, 27,191, the largest non-homecoming crowd ever in Bragg Met Memorial Stadium. The previous high was 19,058 versus Southern, again, in 1999. This is what we want. This is what it's all about right here. And I salute the fans and yes. alumni, family, and friends for coming out and supporting this ball game. Let's continue to do this. This should be like this every game. Yeah. Hats off to Roman Banks, the AD at Southern University, for helping to make it happen. Here we go. Ryan Stanley and the Rantler offense set, but we've got whistles. Please turn the play clock off there. Malfunctioning. We're going to keep the play clock on the field. Okay, the play clocks are currently malfunctioning. They're going to keep that time on the field so we can get those going again. All right, Ryan Stanley and the Rattlers are ready. We start at our own 25-yard line. First and 10, Stanley's pass is caught over there by George Webb at the 31-yard line. And on first down, that's a gain of six yards. Make it second down and four to go for the Rattler first down. Great crowd on hand tonight in Tallahassee for FAMU and Southern. The second largest non-homecoming crowd, or the first, the largest non-homecoming crowd. Ryan Stanley this time gives to Bishop Bonnet. And the Bishop's going to get a yard, but not much more. The Jaguars all over that play. They get third down. And about three maybe to go. Third and three. Ryan Stanley this time has a spread formation with twin receivers to either side and sends a Zende Ray in motion, gives to Bishop Bonnet. And Bishop is going to be stacked up and dropped. Going to bring up fourth down for the Rattlers and Chris Fadul for only the his second punt, but the third punt of the night for the Rattlers. That's correct. Fadul on to punt. One of the leading punters in FCS football. He gets it off. And boy, drives the Southern receiver back to the 15-yard line. 20, 25, and down at about the 27-yard line. And so the Jaguars will begin their first possession of the second half from their own 27. And let's reset that Jaguar offense. Hunter Register is the X receiver. Jatari Carter, the left tackle. Left guard, Jeremiah Abbey. Jalen Brinson is the starting center. Jonathan Bishop, the right guard. Right tackle is Jodice Harris. Jeremiah Houston, the tight end. Devon Ben, the running back. Der let's see if it's Skelton, it's Skelton or McDaniel. It's Skelton. Skelton comes back at quarterback. Kobe Hartman, the Y receiver. And the Z is Jamar Washington. Here we go. Jaguars triple bunch to the far boundary. They swing it out there. Toss pitch. Is that Nelson, the ball carrier? Andrew Lund takes the tackle first and 10 Southern. 
First down and 10 for the Jaguars on that first down run. And they run a little wildcat this time. No, it's Skelton. It's Skelton. Skelton. Quarterback. Keeps. And he's going to pick up a couple. Make it third down. I mean, second down, that is. And seven to go for the Jaguars. Ball's resting at the southern 41-yard line. The Jaguars are moving left to right. Skelton this time. Going to stack some receivers to the tight side of the formation and give to his running back. Not much there. The Rattlers meet him at the point of attack. It's Terry Jefferson on the stop for FAMU. We're still playing tight defense. I'll tell you what, they're swarming. And, and it's tough at the point of attack. Third down. They're down at about seven yards to go for Southern. Balls resting at their own 42-yard line. Ladaria Skelton sets up, has time, now dumps it off underneath, and it's caught by Hunter Register, but he is immediately taken down by Terry Jefferson. Yeah, Terry, Terry's been making some great plays today, man. I tell you what, Skelton seems to be the blue-collar quarterback. And uh, McDaniel is the guy to bring some flash and flair. So they got a, you know, double-headed snake here with those two guys. But I think Coach Odom was trying to get back to the basics of his offense and that's running the football. Fontenot on to punt. And gets off a good kick. Azende Ray feels it at the 10, 15, and Azende bouncing off Jaguars. Going to fight his way to about the 17-yard line, and that's where the Rattlers will begin first and 10 from there. Well, Azende is 5'10", 205, and a former running back. He plays just like a running back when he catches that ball. He's tough to bring down. Fort Walton Beach. Timeout here in Tallahassee. 19 to 7, the Rattlers lead. And with a break in the action, we'll take a timeout on the field. You're watching MEAC Football on ESPN3. And we'll see how investing with a JP Morgan advisor can help you. Visit your local Chase branch. Welcome back to Brock Stadium. FAMU leading Southern 19 to 7. Here in the third quarter, 10.51 to play, and when play resumes, the Rattlers will have the football. First down and 10 from our own 20-yard line, or the 19-yard line, actually. And Ryan Stanley has David Manigo isolated to the near boundary. Twin receivers to the far side and sends... Azunde Ray in motion gives to Devon Kendrick. And Devon fights his way across the 20 to the 25-yard line. And that'll be a gain of about six yards on first down and make it second down and four to go for a Rattler first down. Good-looking run on first down. Excellent effort. Second down and four. Rattlers moving right to left now here in the third quarter. And Stanley sends Azende Ray in motion, gives to Kendrick. He turns the corner, and Kendrick lowers his shoulder and fights for a first down. Let's see if he, he gets it. They will move the chains. First and 10, Rattlers. Ball's resting now at the FAMU 30-yard line. All right, Ryan Stanley, spread formation this time. Hands it off to. That's a good-looking run by Terrell Jennings. Jennings, 5'11", 225, the freshman 
out of Jacksonville Mandarin High School, and he's going to pick up a first down for the Ramblers at the FAMU 41-yard line. That's a first and 10. Move the chains. Running back by committee, Keith. Yes, sir. Running back by committee. Rattlers stack three triplets to the near boundary and send a Zende Ray in motion. Give it to Jennings again. And Jennings this time for a couple, not much more, as he's met at the point of attack by the Southern defense. Second down and eight yards to go for a round of first down. 847 to play here in the third quarter. Ryan Stanley, wing left this time. Twins to the near boundary. Isolation over to the far side. And Stanley wants to pass. Rolls right. Looks downfield. Tosses downfield. It's caught by Manigo. And Manigo bumped out of bounds at the 29-yard line of Southern, and that's around the first down, and they'll move the chains. You know, uh, Ryan has been uh, very effective on sprinting out, especially to his right, making that throw. That's an excellent throw and, and catch. Rattlers on the move now, just outside the red zone, and they give it to Terrell Jennings once again, and he fights his way to the Southern 25-yard line. And on first down, Jennings is going to get about five yards. The Rattler offense is ready to go before the chains are ready. Stanley. Again, it's Jennings. He bounces outside, passes inside the 25, down to about the 22, maybe the 23. We'll see where they spot the football. And keep the running backs by committee are so sound. I mean, you see them run north and south. They're not going east and west. They turn up in that hole and get what they can get. Balls at the Jaguar 23-yard line. Triplets to the near boundary. Empty backfield this time for Ryan Stanley. Five wides. And he gives to a Zende Ray. And Ray turns upfield, and he is going to be down at the 15, but penalty markers are on the play. Holding. Offense. Number seven, 10-yard penalty. George Webb. Down. And that's going to nullify what would have been a first down for the Rattlers and back us up. Make it third down and about seven to go now for a Rattler first down with 7.07 to play here in the third quarter. Ryan Stanley, ready to go. The Rattlers, Stanley, play, action, fires. He had to get rid of the football. He had tremendous pressure right. coming straight up the middle from that Southern Jaguar defense. I think he's trying to set up that tight end screen, yeah. and it never formed. Yeah. All right, so we're going to have to be careful with that. Replay third. Offside, defense number five. Five-yard penalty. We play third down. And so Southern is offside. We get the five yards back from the penalty earlier in the series, and it'll make it third down now for the Rattlers and three yards to go for family first down. 6.45 to go, third quarter. 19-7, the Rattlers lead. Azende Ray in motion. Stanley keeps, and he's going to be dropped for a loss. He may have should have handed that one off that time if yeah. it was a read pass option. You know, and for our novice listeners and, and watchers of the game, you know, when you run the football, the clock continues to roll. When you throw an incomplete pass, it, it stops. stops the clock. Yeah. So, uh, you know, one of the things we've done so far, this, this series is eating up some clock. So six minutes left in the third quarter. Caleb Carter was on the stop that time for the Jaguars. This is going to be... A 43-yard field goal attempt by Yahia Ali from near the left hash mark, almost straight on. But there's uh, some discussion on the field. Number 10 needed to leave the game because of injury. injury. 
Fourth down for the Rattlers, and Yahia Ali will attempt a 43-yard field goal here. Fadul will hold. Here's a snap placement. Kick is on the way, and no good. Man. I mean, that was, that was perfect. It looked good. Got off some height. Good distance. Yeah, good distance. Yeah. It was wide left, I think. All right, there's timeout here in Tallahassee. Fam U19, Southern University 7. We'll See how investing with a J.P. Morgan advisor can help you. Visit your local Chase branch. On your stadium, 19-7, the Rattlers leading the Southern Jaguars. Third quarter action, 548 remaining. And Southern with a first down and 10. Skelton on an option play, tosses it out there for Devon Ben. And Ben's going to pick up, looks like about six yards on that play. He'll make it, make it five, second down and five to go for the Jaguars. Second down and five for Southern. Skelton now shifts his tight end. Play action, fires over the middle to the tight end. That's Jeremiah Houston, and he's going to pick up a first down in Rattler territory down at the FAMU 46-yard line. We used to call that a pop pass to the tight end. He well executed. He was wide open. First and 10, Jaguars. Twins near side this time for Skelton. Wants to pass. Sets up. Has time. Fires the home run ball and nearly picked off. Had his receiver backpedaling. And that's an outstanding defensive play back there by Andrew Hines. That's a big time play there. A big time. Big time, people. I wish he would have intercepted that yeah, ball. Yeah, the receiver was wide open, oh but Hines God. got back there and put a hand up and knocked it down. Second down and 10. Skelton keeps on a quarterback keeper. He's going to get a yard or so, but not much more. And on the stop for the Rattlers is Doyle Grimes. He's going to make it third down. And about eight yards to go for Southern first down. Four minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the third quarter of play. I want to say hi to Reggie Seals and all the good folks. A lot of vendors in town for this game this weekend. All the vendors around the big HBCU football game. And Reggie Seals across the way. How you doing, brother? Skelton fires across the middle. He's got his man. That pass is caught. Keith Skelton. Number nine. Skelton's got too much time to throw this football, yeah. man. He's getting a lot of time yeah. now. Cameron gotta, Mackey. We need to put some pressure on him. Mackey on the receiving end. Moves the chains for the Jaguars at the Rattler 31-yard line. Ladaria Skelton now. Pistol formation. Hands it off to Devon Ben, and Ben fights his way inside the 25-yard line, down to about the 23-yard line. It's going to make it second down, about two yards to go for Jaguar first down. Gain of eight on that last play. Skelton this time tosses right over the middle. Got his man. He's going to the house. Touchdown, Jamar Washington. Yeah, that's a good-looking drive. That's a good-looking play. That was uh, a well-executed drive by the veteran quarterback, Skelton. He, uh, he ran the option. He threw some passes. He had plenty of time to throw, which is something we got to minimize. We don't want those missed field goals to come back and harness. The extra point is good. And so, 
Three minutes and two seconds remaining in the third quarter. There's timeout here in Tallahassee with our score. FAMU 19 and Southern University 14. We'll take time out. You're watching MEAC football on ESPN3. And we'll take time out on the Rattler Sports Network for our network. Welcome back to Bragg Memorial Stadium. FAMU 19, Southern University 14. 3.02 left in the third quarter. And Albert, we're going to have a fantastic finish from Tallahassee. I think if you, if you look back at the 60 games that's been played between these two teams, 90% of them have been fantastic finishes. Boy, good kick. Sails in the end zone. The Rattlers. Oh, they, he tried to tell him not to bring it out, but he came out. 20 and down at about the 23-yard line. Well, that's a dangerous return. Bishop Bonnet. Bishop. His up man was trying to tell him, no, don't come out. But well, Bishop was like, I got other thoughts. <laughs> he turns it into a decent play. Well, as the new slang says, say less. Say less. There we go. All right. 2.56 remaining. You know, the bishop is just itching to explode. Yeah. And he's just waiting yeah. to get one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you got to let it come to you. Though. Yeah. 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 First and 10 Rattlers. Balls resting at the FAMU 22-yard line. Moving right to left. Ryan Stanley. And Stanley this time play action, looking to pass, looks downfield, fires downfield. His pass is picked off. The pass was underthrown, and Jacoby Papillon comes up with the, the interception. The Rattlers were, were trying to run a post corner and uh, grossly underthrown football and was picked off by the corner. You know, it makes me think about what we talked about earlier. You know, our keys to victory. we got to protect the football, make good decisions. It's not there. Don't throw it. It's reload for another down. Jaguars take over after the turnover at the Rattler 40-yard line. And now Ladarius Skelton and the Jaguars with a little momentum. Rattlers threatened blitz, but back off. Skelton looking to pass, firing a home run ball down there and overthrows the intended receiver. Albert, the intended receiver, got a little turf monster back there, and had he stayed in stride, that may have been six. Absolutely. You know, and, and normally what happens on a, on a turnover like that, you come back and you throw the home run ball. I was surprised the defensive back uh, allowed him to get behind him. But the little turf monster tripped him up, the little rattler turf monster, and kept him from making that catch. Yeah, it was Hunter Register, the intended receiver. He's a big guy, 6'5", 215. Second and 10 for the Jaguars from the Rattler 40. And Ladarius Skelton. Play action, throws it out there. That pass is caught, but the Rattlers are all over that play. The receiver was number 84, Kobe Hartman, who started tonight in place of T.J. Bedford. Going to make it third down and about four yards to go. A gain of six. Third gain of six. Here we go. Empty backfield this time for Ladarius Skelton. Five wides. And Skelton sets up, has time, fires. Underneath that pass is caught. The Rattlers are all over the intent, the receiver. Cameron Mackey, but not before he moves the chains. And Skelton stood strong in the pocket and shot a bullet. First and ten, Jaguars. Skelton keeps. And on the run pass option, the quarterback exercised the run option. And he is met at the point of attack by that Rattler defense after a gain of maybe two, not much more. Make it second down, about eight yards to go. Number 
Second down and nine for Florida a and Ladarius Skelton and the Jaguars. Triplets over here to the boundary. Now they're going to throw the screen out here. The Rattlers trying to bust it up, but not before a completion to Craig Nelson. And Nelson takes it inside the red zone and down at the 19-yard line. It's going to make it third down and about four yards to go for the Southern Jaguars. And all of a sudden now, Albert, the momentum has shifted, and the Jaguar Cats are threatening. Darius Skelton is actually engineering a super drive. He's come back the second half and looks like a, He's on fire. a ball of shot caller. Here we go. Darius Skelton twins to the far side. Rattlers threatening blitz, but back off. Skelton pulls it down. He's going to run. Skelton is going to be dropped at the 14-yard line, but that will be... A first down for Southern. And here come the Jaguars. The Darius Skelton has been very effective running the football, He's mixing it up, and uh, engineering some good drives. Well executed plays. The Rattlers are giving him too much time to throw the football, and we're not getting penetration on the line of scrimmage. They're pushing us around. Yeah, triplets to the far boundary this time now for Ladarius Skelton. And Nelson in the backfield from the pistol. They lay it out here. This pass is caught by Jamar Washington. And Washington inside the 10, spinning and turning. And down at about the 9, maybe the 8. We'll see what they mark the football. And Washington That's the gets end of the third quarter. End of the third quarter. Washington gets up hurt. But the Jaguars continue this drive and will be threatening. There's timeout in Tallahassee with our score. FAMU 19, Southern 14. We'll Chaser can help you. Visit your local Chase branch. First play of the fourth Welcome back to Brank Stadium. 1914, the Rattlers lead as we go to fourth quarter action and the Southern Jaguars are threatening inside the red zone. At the Rattler, nine-yard line. They can get a first down at the five. Ladarius Skelton pulls it down. He's going to run, and Skelton is in. Touchdown, Southern. A lot of effort there by Skelton. Ladarius, 6'2", 210. Redshirt junior at Pine Bluff, Arkansas. He looked good on that play, Keith. He actually was going to... He faked the pass and then took it on in for the touchdown. Hard running, determined run. All right, the Jaguars with their first lead of the night. And the extra point is on the way and good. And so with 14 minutes and 53 seconds remaining in this one from Tallahassee, our score. Southern 21. And Fam U, 19. Okay. And we'll take time out on the field. You're watching me at football on ESPN3. And we'll pause for these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. A beautiful shot of Bragg Memorial Stadium as we go to fourth quarter action with our score Southern University 21 and Fam U 19. Albert the Jaguars with their first lead of the night and momentum has shifted in Tallahassee to the blue and gold. No doubt you got to credit the quarterback play of uh, Mr. Skelton. You know one play kill the momentum for FAMU, that interception. We just got to come back and play hard-nosed football. All right, Let's see how we address. On the return, and Azende fights his way out to the 24-yard line, where the Rattlers will begin first and 10 from there. Fourth quarter action now. The Rattlers are moving left to right or heading toward the south end zone. And 
it's important now that we be patient, execute the plays that are called, don't panic, and, and you know, make a turnover, make any errors. Execute and play good football. And it's got to start with our quarterback, Ryan Stanley. All right, here we go. Ryan Stanley trying to set his formation. Orange helmets are down. First and 10, Rattlers. Bones resting in our own 24-yard line. Rattlers in a man in motion. Give to the up back. And that is Bishop Bonnet. And it's just nothing there on the stop for the Jaguars is Davin Cotton, 6'3", 281, a redshirt freshman out of Shreveport, Louisiana. They're beating us at the point of attack. Our O-line got to tighten up. That's back to the five keys to victory. We got to have control of the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine to go for the Rattlers. Stanley, this time play action, wants to pass, fires across the middle. That pass intended for Zende Ray. He threw it into double coverage. And Azende fought for it, but it falls incomplete. That's good defense by yeah. Southern. Third down and nine for the Rattlers. The Rattlers need a big play to try and shift the momentum, which right now is wearing blue and white. Ryan Stanley flushed out of the pocket, fires downfield. That, pass, that, that may have been interference. Yeah, yeah. David Manigo, the Southern defender, hit Manigo before the ball got there. And I think... As we look at the replay here, yeah, he's all he's over all Manigo. Over. Pass and interference. Defense number five. Ball be placed at the spot of the foul. First down. Montavious gains the guilty party for Southern, and it'll move the chains for the Rattlers. Maybe just what the doctor ordered. Let's see. The Rattlers have it first and 10 now from the FAMU 36-yard line, moving left to right. Ryan Stanley, isolated receiver near side, twins to the far boundary. Azende Ray comes in motion. They give to Bishop Bonnet, and boy, once again, the Jaguars are all over the Bishop. The Bishop kept fighting, and that kept the play alive, and the Jaguars kept pushing him back. They're just getting too much penetration to land. I, I, you know, either we make some kind of adjustment or the guy's got it. It's a gut check. I mean, yeah. it's the fourth quarter. You yeah. home. Yeah. You're getting whooped by the guy in front of you right now. Second down. It's too much penetration. Yeah, about 16 yards to go for the Rantlers. Ryan Stanley sends a Zende Ray in motion. Play action. Stanley again has pressure, and he had to rush that pass. Intended for Xavier Smith, but the Jaguars now getting tremendous penetration and forcing Ryan Stanley to make some errant throws. You know, Coach Simmons mentioned it right before halftime that he's played this team 100 times, and this guy, Coach Odom over there, he, he made the adjustments. They seem to to know the plays that we're calling. They, they, they're right where they need to be defensively. Yeah, yeah. Dawson Odoms, an outstanding coach, graduate of North Carolina Central, mm -hmm. and uh, just an outstanding coach. And we, we got a ball game here in Tallahassee. 21-19, the Jaguars lead. And Ryan Stanley flushed out of the pocket, looking downfield, fires his pass, and thrown behind Xavier Smith. And once again, Ryan, just under tremendous pressure, You know, you know, Keith, I, I thought he was just going to pump that ball, tuck it, and run it. No one was in front of him. I think he had all the real estate in front of him. Yeah. So well, Chris Fadul is on the punt. We know Ryan's not comfortable running, but yeah. sometimes you got to pull that thing down and make it happen. Fadul gets the snap, gets off a beautiful kick. He's going to flip this field. Ball is caught at the 28-yard line. And good kick coverage down there by the Rattler special teams on the stop for FAMU. It's number 20, Javon Morgan, 5'11", 185-pound freshman. For, he played at Florida High yeah. here Local in Tallahassee. Yeah. 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 
That's good looking kick coverage there. And so the Jaguars now take over. First and 10 from their own 34 yard line. And yeah, and the band has to quiet down as the Jaguars are set now and ready to play. First and 10, Ladarius Skelton. And he has been on fire this second half. Skelton flushed out of the pocket, pulls it down. He's going to run, exercising that run pass option. The Rattlers are all over him, and they finally bump him out of bounds, but not before. Ladarius Skelton will pick up about four yards on the play, make it second down and six yards to go. A dangerous quarterback, Albert, is one that can exercise the RPO. And Skelton has all of the skill sets. He can throw it, and he can run it. He does. And uh, he's moved the challenge right now. I tell you that. He's had two excellent drives. And uh, looks like a, a field general out there. All right, here we go. Jack Warren, center man in motion. Twins to the far boundary for Ladaria Skelton once again. This time he gives to his back back. Barreling through, and that is Devon Ben. And Ben is going to move the chains. That's a first down for the Jaguars at their own 44-yard line. You know, Keith, I mean, the last couple of plays, what I've noticed, poor tackling. We're not wrapping people up. And uh, they're getting extra yards after contact. I want to say hi to our... He's afraid to play while the offense is playing. Yeah, the band's got to be very careful. They cannot play once the offense breaks the huddle. You got to observe the protocols of the game. Let's say hi to our producer, Sean Woods, tuned in down in Tampa, Florida, with the first lady and our good friend Gerald Tooks. And we got penalty markers on the play. Outside, defense number 90, five yard penalty. Hit that. It's crunch time, and those kind of penalties become nagging penalties oh, in, no the, doubt. in the mind of a head coach. No doubt. You appreciate the enthusiasm, but the ball is right in front of you. Why are you jumping outside? Giving, us a, giving them a first down and five for the Jaguars now. Skelton hands it off to. Devon Ben. Ben's going to cross midfield into Rattler territory and down at about the 48 yard line of FAMU. And that will make it second down and two. Here we go. Ladarius Skelton. Second and two for the Jaguars. In Rattler territory. Skelton. Pump fakes, fires the pass, incomplete. Now, he had pressure coming from the backside that time, Albert. Just didn't get there in time before he released that football. But that time, we saw pressure coming from the Rattler defense. Yeah, we need more of that. Yeah. He's still getting too much time to throw that football. Yeah, we've heard from uh, a good friend and... A great rapper. Fred Goldsmith checked in on Those Goldsmith. Tonight. And of course, Dingaling, Greg Coleman. Greg, hope you're doing all right. And we're with you in the loss of your mother. Third down and two for Southern. Here we go. Jaguar Cats give it to Devon Bell and he a uh, Ben Devon Ben and he's got a first down. Good run. Spinning and turning. All right, as as they would say, he was on his grind. <laughs> yeah, you talk about Coach Goldsmith, man. I, you know, he's a deep, he was our defensive coordinator. And, uh, man, I tell you what, he would have those guys fired up in that 52 defense. And uh, Joe Yates and the guys would be bringing it home, baby. But Darius Skelton sets up, wants to pass, pulls it down, and this time the Rattlers are all over him. He'll gain a yard, but that's good defense that's as the Rattlers about. swarm at the point of attack. That good coverage. That's a coverage sack right yeah, there. Yeah, it's coverage. And actually, he's going to lose a yard, so it is a coverage sack. 
Second and 11 for the Jaguars. 9.47 to play, 21-19. We're going to have a fantastic finish here in Tallahassee. Ladarius Skelton. Twins to the far boundary. Got an isolated receiver over here near side. Tight end goes to motion. He snaps the football, and Skelton was not ready for it. And he just makes the best of a, ba a busted play. Wow. So I'm bringing up third down now for the Jaguars. And 11 yards to go. Rattler defense digging in. Going to go to... It's like a 3-4 prevent in the back. Well, we got a lot of movement across the line of scrimmage. Now, is it a, is it a legal procedure or is it offsides? Offsides. Defense number 96. Five-yard penalty. Third down. You got to contain your enthusiasm and play sound football right now. This is an important drive right here, Keith. This, this, this drive right here can make or break you. Yes it, is. yes, it is. Third down and six for Southern. And again, the Rattlers jumping, but got to stay composed here. Triplets to the boundary to the far side for Ladarius Skelton. Got an isolated receiver over here. That's Hunter. Register. And Skelton flushed out of the pocket. Looks like some holding was, was going holding. on there. And, uh, boy, Skelton is taken out, had his legs taken out from him. Big number 77 reached out and grabbed the Rattler defender and no flag on the play. Keep the forward fumble out of bounds. Ball replaced at the spot of the fumble. Fourth down. I'd like to see if we can see that replay again. Here we go. Albert, here's the replay. Yeah, he, oh, yeah, that's holding. You know, I spotted that early in yeah. the game and called it. You know, yeah. I, All right. We needed that stop right there, Keith. That's good, good defensive stop. Yeah. Yeah. Fourth down, game. Southern. For the most part, a well-officiated game here tonight. Oh, yeah. And uh, Barajas punts, takes a Jaguar roll. And it's going to roll all the way down to the four-yard line where the Rattlers will begin first and ten. 8.03 remaining in the ball game here in Tallahassee. We're going to take time out on the field. Southern 21, FAMU 19. You're watching MEAC football on ESPN3. And we'll pause for these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. Back on every purchase everywhere. Actually, that's super easy. My bad. Welcome back to Brank Stadium. 21-19, the Jaguars lead the Rattlers. The first down at the FAMU four-yard line. Ryan Stanley. Trying to find some room to work on a throw down. It's a hitching up, and it's caught by Xavier Smith. And Xavier Smith is down at the 46-yard line of FAMU. That's a big strike. A 42-yard pass play from Ryan Stanley to Xavier Smith. Xavier actually ran an out and up, and Ryan hung it up right inside for him, and he, he ran right up on it. Great play, great pitch and catch. All right, here we go. Rattlers at their own 44. At the Rattler 46-yard line. Well, they're going to mark him at the 47. Gain of two, second and eight. 7.15 to play. Rattler's trying to get something going. Stack receivers to either side. Spread formation. Receivers are stacked. 
Give it to the bishop again, and this time the bishop finds the seam. That's, that's the best run of the day right there, Keith. Takes it to the Jaguar 40-yard line. That's around the first down. Move those chains. Bishop Bonnet. Thank you, Bishop. The bishop is in the house. The bishop is in the house. First and 10, Rattlers. Ryan Stanley again stacks his spread receivers and this time gives it to the new back in the backfield. And that is Jennings, Terrell Jennings. This time stacked up though and can't go. He's going to lose a yard, maybe two. Second down and 12 to go for a Rattler first down. Ryan Stanley, twins to the far boundary. Isolated over here is a receiver to the near side. Ryan fires to the outside and got his man. That pass is caught. Cameron Sapp. No, that's not Sapp. Sapp is the backup quarterback. That's another receiver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I try to remember. That. Right, yeah, we, we, we had that mix up on the roster yeah. last week. Cameron Sapp is a big freshman right, quarterback right, out right. of Jacksonville Lee who happens to wear the, share the same number with right. this kid. All right, here we go. Rattlers with a third down now and six. Stanley fires over the middle. That pass is quite, That's a great catch. Excellent catch. Big time catch. Tied in. Caleb Parker holds on. Had a Jaguar all over him. But he makes the catch and moves the chains. Andrew Davis is number two, the wide receiver. Yeah, that's it. Had a big game a, a week ago against Fort Valley. Andrew Davis. Thank you to our on-the-spot producer. And here we go. Ryan Stanley, the Rattlers. Play action. Ryan fires. Got and Xavier. And Xavier down at the 14 yard line. Had he been able to keep his footing, Albert, it would have been six. The defender fell down. Yeah, he anticipated getting hit, and I think that's what helped him lose his footing. But that was a six, a touchdown there. That was yeah, six the points. defender fell down. Yes. Had Xavier stayed yes. on his feet, he could have scored. You know, Here we when, go. On, on, on Ryan's pre-snap read, he should see if they're in man coverage or zone. And when they come up there in that man coverage, you can run that route all day. Here we go. Rattler threatening inside the red zone at the Jaguar. 14-yard line, trying to regain the lead here in Tallahassee. 4-19 to play. Ryan Stanley gives to the Bishop. The Bishop tries to turn and bounce outside, but the Jaguars are all over that play. Well, I tell you what, uh, you know, the Bishop is trying to make something happen. I tell you what, he, he's a lightning in a bottle, and, and we know he's just a play away, a, a missed tackle away from breaking one and taking it to the house. This drive is important for the Rattlers. It's 3.52 left in this game, and we're down by two. We need, we need a touchdown. Here we go. Ryan Stanley sets up has time. Fires in the end zone. Xavier yeah. Smith. That's big time. Touchdown. Yeah, that's, that's, that's base time. That's a, that, 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 that's a drive that came 90 yards easy. I mean, what a, what, a, what a great pass and catch that was. Ryan stood in there and threw that ball, man. Again, caught him in mad coverage, hit him on that post. The X-Man, hey, Xavier love Smith. I tell you what, coming out of the third quarter, he had six catches for 125 yards. He's having a career night tonight. Xavier Smith gives the Rattlers the lead. Timeout, Florida A&M. I think the coach is considering going for two. 30-second timeout. 30-second timeout. And Albert, two big catches 
at the end of this drive for Xavier. One he could have scored on. He anticipated getting hit. The Southern defender fell down. Xavier went to the ground and then comes right back to him streaking across the center. That's right. I tell you what, an excellent call, catching him in the right defense. I mean, he's having a career night tonight, man. Yeah, and Ryan stood in there and made some good throws. I mean, he, he, he revived himself. A field goal could win it, but it's not enough cushion. No, no, and, and we've, we've we got three, two field goals we left on the field. I think. Right, that's right. Yeah. But again, you know, the first half, the three phases of the game will complement each other. What we need right now is to get these two points, but we need the defense to come back and play strong football. Yeah, we got it. Southern will get another opportunity. Oh, no question. And so the De Rattler defense will have to rise up. Let's see if we can execute this uh, two-point conversion. Rattlers are going for two. Wildcat. Azende Ray fires. Did he catch it? Yes. That's Kamari Young. Yes. Two-point conversion. He caught it. Good. Everybody expected Zende to run that football. And Zende, it looked like the pass was falling short, but he hit his, his man in the flat for the touchdown, uh, for the two-point conversion. Keith, we said it was going to be a wild one. And the fat lady hadn't sung yet. 27 to 21, our score. There's timeout on the field. Kamari yes. Young makes a great catch. That's a, that's a big time catch there. Hands up under the ball. 27 21 will take time out on the field. You're watching me at football on ESPN 3. And we'll pause for these words for our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. See how investing with a JP Morgan advisor can help you. Visit your local Chase branch. A little joy in Tallahassee after the Rattler strike back on Xavier Smith's 17-yard pass from Ryan Stanley. Kamari Young scoops and scores the two-point conversion to make it 27-21 FAMU with 3.32 left in this one. We thought it was going to be a barn burner, and Albert, it's going to be a fantastic finish. I believe you're right, Coach. And I, I tell you what, I can't say enough about the winning culture that Coach Willie Simmons has brought here to FAMU. A couple of years ago, these guys would have dropped their heads. And here come the Jaguars. There's a penalty marker on the kick return. Yeah. That's good kick coverage by the Rattlers. Excellent coverage. And on the stop. Cortez Reed, 6'1", 175-pound freshman out of Vieira, Florida. So, again, another Rantler youngster making a tackle. And that's what's so sweet about this football team. They're a bunch of young guys. Personal foul, illegal block below the waist. Receiving team, number 37. To the, to the goal, first down. Well, hey, that's, that's what's so good about this team. A bunch of young guys. This is second year in Billy Ball. I call it Billy Ball. And uh, I'm excited about it. What I love is the culture. These kids know you got to play a football game in four quarters. You yeah. cannot. With that killer mosquito from that, with an ax. So that means who said that? Let's play a little Jeopardy trivia. Who said killer mosquito with an ax? That's old Jake Gaither. Alonzo Smith. Jake Gaither. All right, here we go. Jaguars ready to go. First down and 10 from their own 10. Skelton puts a man in motion. Sets up fires. Going to try to set up the screen pass. Now the Rattlers have him trapped Tackle. behind the line of scrimmage. And they make the stop. That's, That's good it. defense over there. Number 41, Doyle Grimes. He, Grimes having a monster night tonight, Albert. Oh, yeah, no question. But right now, this drive, we, we need to be physical fast. And swarming right now. Defense! Defense! 
Second down for Southern. And about eight yards to go for a Jaguar first down. Devon Ben goes in motion. Long count this time for Skelton. Skelton looks to pass. And boy, we've got flags on the play. Ball start, offense, number yeah. 14. Five yard penalty. We'll take that. At March, the football now at the Southern seven yard line. It's going to make it second down. And now about 12 yards to go with 2.33 to play. And uh, that real estate getting a little longer yeah. for Southern. Skelton wants to pass. Flushed out of the pocket. Get in. Pass chase and run out of bounds. It's going to be third down for Southern. A big series here for the Rattler defense. Keith, I don't think it gets any better than this, man. This, this is top-notch HBCU football right here. Served up on a platter. That's what you want. This is what you want. Well done. Well done. Two great teams, two great schools. Minute 56 to play. Third down, 14. Ladarius Skelton wants to pass. Sets up. Pulls it down. Rattlers have a spy. Rattlers have a spy. And he's going to be driven out of bounds at the five-yard line. Fourth down, Southern. You know, Chico Rufo said, if I sound excited, it's because I am excited. Don't fall out the chair, Albert. <laughs> hey, man, you know what? That's great defense right there. Great they, defense. They spying the quarterback, man. I love it. Great defense. Great defense. What a series for oh. the Rattler defense. Let's give Coach Street, the defensive coordinator, a shout out on that one. Absolutely, absolutely. Jaguars will punt from their own. The last time they had to punt from the end zone, it was a safety. Yes, it was. Minute 41 to play. I say put Big Daddy right on top of that football, man, and bust the sitter upside his head. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Barajas. The Rattlers trying to get kicked, but no, nobody back for the Rattlers. It's going to sell out. The Rattlers going to have excellent field position right. at midfield. A minute 34 to play in this one. And we're so glad you're with us. Hey, no, no, no fan in the stands left. Nobody left. I mean, it's still loaded in here, man. Yeah. We, we're 94 seconds away from a victory. This is huge. This is huge. And so the Rattlers will have the football first and 10 at the midfield strike. And the defense. And the defense. The defense. That last series was phenomenal. Here we go. First and 10 Rattlers. Twins to the far boundary. Isolated receiver over here. This is Manigo. Isolated near side. Xavier Smith. They give it to Devon Kendrick. And Kendrick in the Jaguar territory. Down at about the 47-yard line. And Albert, if the Rattlers want to run. Southern. The first the time out. Please reset the game clock for one minute, 30 seconds. The Rattlers have an injury. It's Brian Crawford, who is the actually the backup center. And he's down. Timeout on the field called by Southern. You know, what's important now, Keith, is, is the quarterback uh, taking his time to call the play, snap the ball. Now, you, you got a timeout, so we got to snap the ball. But, I mean, we don't have a play clock that's operational right now. Ryan, Ryan Crawford, 6'2", 285, the redshirt sophomore out of Pahokee, is down. And if the Rattlers want to keep that clock going, obviously Southern took a timeout, and we've got an injured player. But the key now is to run the football. Got to run the football. And run it successfully now. Run the football. I think uh, a couple of first downs, uh, one good first one down. One good for first sure. down. Yeah, well, yeah. How, how many timeouts do they have left, you know? I don't know. I can't tell. 
But they quickly took that one. Yeah. And just so happened we had an injured player. Now, if if Crawford is unable to go, which I think he will be unable to go by what we're seeing from the press box, his backup will be Verrill White, 6'2", 255, the sophomore out of Sneeds, Florida. And so Verrill White will come in to replace Brian Crawford. But Brian Crawford getting made a nice hand from the fans here in Branch Stadium. All right, Rattlers, second down, eight yards to go. Devon Kendrick will be in the backfield for Ryan Stanley. Rattlers spread. They, they go twins to the near boundary, isolate the receiver to the far side. Looks like a Zende Ray is isolated over there, and they send Xavier Smith in motion. They give it to Kendrick, and Kendrick finds a seam. Now, wh where will they spot him? Is that a first down, or is it going to be a yard short? I think he's going to be a yard short. Looks like the line judge is saying. Yes, it's short. He, it's a yard short. But still, a great run. Excellent And it run. should keep the clock. The clock is ticking. Absolutely. Minute 17 to go now. If, if time you, out, Southern. All right, that's second, the second time, time out of the half. Please reset the game clock to 122. Yeah, Southern, what, what, Southern's got to stop that clock. they got to stop the clock. But, you know, we, don't, we can't see a play clock. So, so the quarterback can snap the ball, you know, with one or two seconds left before the play clock goes out. Well, it's been a great night here in Tallahassee. And uh, next week, Florida A&M travels to Norfolk, Virginia, to take on the Norfolk State Spartans in our first MIAC game of the 2019 season. And uh, the they Jaguars lost. get ready to enter SWAT play. Swat play yeah. and Norfolk State uh, lost to Montana State today, 56 to 21. So uh, we go up there and take care of those Spartans after we take care of this one right here. Got to take care of this first. I'm going to say hi to TJ over it. The most nah. important game is the game you're in right now. A minute 20. The most important time is a minute 22. Here we go. Rattlers yes. get the first down. It's Devon yes. Kendrick, and that's power that running. Power running. That's what you want right there, Keith. Now you take your time and snap the ball now. You take your time. Don't snap it in a hurry. Get that first down, Rattlers. Just take your time. It's joy in Mudville, as they say, tonight. If the Rattlers can hold on for 56 more seconds. Ryan Stanley, the Rattlers in victory formation. And that should do it. What a game. What a football game. All right. Roman Banks. My man. The Rattlers of Florida A&M 27. The Jaguars of Southern University 21. An outstanding football game in every respect of the word. Excellent football game. This is what you, we talked about early on, Keith. I mean, the history and tradition behind this game has always ended up like this. And uh, it's, it's just so sweet for the Rattlers to win this game the way they did. And uh, a lot of character is built when you win games like this. All right, our Corey Staples will be talking to the victorious Willie Simmons. And the Rattlers hey. are going to improve to 2-1 and one on the season. Hey, Coach Simmons was 5-2 and two against Southern from his other previous coaching job. So he, he continued that winning piece all the way down here uh, in this exciting contest here. I tell you what, it, it, this is what it's all about. 
I think the fans in the stands, I thank you for coming. We admonish you for, for being here and admonish you to continue to come out and support the Rattlers. Yeah, this is a great crowd tonight. All right, let's go to Corey Staples. All right, Corey, with Coach Simmons. Let's go. Coach, where do you think that momentum shift came from late in the fourth quarter? Well, just continuing the fight. You know, our motto this year is fight to finish. And, you know, they, they start making some plays, but when it, when it mattered the most, our guys stepped up, and that's what this program is all about, just continuing to fight, grind, play the next play. And uh, we made the plays at the end that we needed to make. How do you look to carry that momentum into next week's big conference game? Let's get back to practice tomorrow, enjoy it tonight, and let's go back to work. You know, again, this thing isn't done. A lot of football left to play. Now they really count. You know, two and one going to conference play. But again, with zero and zero, that's the, that's the record that matters. But now it's all about conference play. And lastly, your playmakers made big plays down the stretch. How proud are you of this team tonight? Well, you know, we knew that Xavier Smith was going to have a game. And uh, the game plan all week was to get him involved. He started cramping a little bit early, but he came back like the warrior that he is and made a huge play there in the end zone. And defense close. stepped up big at the right time. And again, it was a great team effort. Thank you, Coach, and congratulations on the win. Thank you. All right, thank you, Corey. Coach Simmons, 27 to 21, Albert, the final score here in Tallahassee. And so, for color analyst Albert Chester, I'm Keith Miles saying so long from Brad Memorial Stadium, where the final score tonight is Florida AM, 27 to 21. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. And now, Rattler Sports Network fans, Albert, what a great win for Florida a and Well, I tell you what, Keith, I mean, the fans showed up, the football team showed up, the band showed up, and more importantly, when we needed a drive, when we needed a stop, when we needed a big play, the Rattlers showed up. And uh, you couldn't have it any better than that. I'm just as happy for Coach Simmons and his, and his, and his club, his coaching staff, and the whole entire school. Been a fabulous weekend. Well, Albert, you know, you're an offensive player. I was a defensive player, and I am so proud of the Rattler defense, the way they shut that last opportunity down, and they knew they had to step up big, and they did. They posted up in the paint, Keith. That's what I call it. They posted up. Somebody was, everybody was willing to make a play. Post up in the paint, make a play, and uh, the Rattlers come out victorious. I'm like, I'm like Coach Sam. It's a great win. The Rattlers improved the 2 and one They get sent for Norfolk State next week. And that's going to do it for us here in Tallahassee tonight. The Rattler Sports Network wants to thank our affiliate stations, board operators, our presenting sponsor, the FAMU Rattler, producers, Sean D., engineer Jerome Swain, sideline reporter Calvin Sykes, technical director Robert Seniors, and multimedia producer Jefferson Walker IV, and their entire Rattler Sports Network crew. For the quarterback in the booth, analyst Albert Chester, we want to say, Thank you so much, TJ, tonight over at 96.1. This is Keith Miles saying so long from Tallahassee.